I'm Yanti Brasali from Seriously Keto. I have a Seriously Keto bakery here in Singapore. We serve very, very low carb uh, bakes and cakes for those that's interested in a ketogenic lifestyle. I believe in the ketogenic diet. It's as gluten-free and diabetic friendly as well. And to help me in my kitchen, I actually use Thermomix and I currently have seven of them and I cannot live without them. And to support my lifestyle, I actually cook with them daily. And today, as you can see here, I have mushrooms and I'm actually gonna make mushroom mushi. That is a chawan mushi with mushroom soup combined together and it's all gonna be done with the Thermomix. So for the chawan mushi, I have eggs, bouillon, um, we actually make my own bouillons, but you can always get them um, any any bouillon that you would like, as long as you could see there's no preservatives and there's no added sugar in it, I'll be okay with that. And then we have water, eggs, and we're gonna mix this and we're gonna put it aside. Okay, let me show you how. Half a tablespoon of bouillon, which we actually make ourselves, and three quarter cup of water, a little bit warm to dilute the bouillon. This is very, very easy and it's very, very yummy. So this custard base can be modified, can be, can be expanded with a lot of options. So you can, this is the time when you can actually add, you can have it plain or you can add a lot of things. You can add a lot of protein, you can add a lot of uh, fat in it. As for today, I'm actually, because I am doing keto, I'm gonna use foie gras. So I need the fat for to balance out in my and my protein. So I'm gonna show you how. So I've mixed the custard, the base of the custard, and we're gonna take ramekin and we're gonna put this aside. So like I said, this is where you put in all the ingredients. And here I have ginkgo nuts, good for the brain. So I'm gonna put like a few ginkgo nuts in one. And then uh, I have also foie gras here, which is very yummy, steamed with eggs. So, you can use any other livers. You don't have to use foie gras, you can use livers, uh, chicken liver as well, which is probably might be easier to get, or you can put as many or as little as you want. Yeah, and you can put mushroom in one. Okay, so like I said, this is like the time to prepare the... Um... Out of this, I could probably make into four or five. We'll see how it goes. And you can also mix them, you know, like you can mix a foie gras with the nuts. And you can put crabs, you can put shrimps, you can put vegetables, whatever you want, you know. It's, um, it's really up to your liking or what your family is wanting to have for that day. Okay, let's try that first. To make a smooth um, custard, you re I like to sift it because I want it really smooth. I don't want all the bubbles and the foam in it. So yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just do like about half of this because on top of this, we're gonna later put some mushroom 
soup. That's a different take of all of this. And I didn't put any salt in this anymore or any other ingredients because the bouillon that I use has all the taste uh, which is already very good and you don't want to have this to be overly overly tasty because you need you need to be able to taste the whole food of it the wholeness see so if you sift it it's really nice and smooth You can use any bowl that actually fits into your thermomix here. Um, it's gonna be put at steaming with the Verona while we're gonna make the mushroom soup. So it's two in one, which is I always like to do with my thermomix. It saves a lot of time, and I think that's the beauty of it. Alright, so we have this all set up and we're gonna put it aside while we make the mushroom soup in the Thermomix. Okay, so let's move on to making the mushroom. This is the preparations of the mushroom. It's a mushroom soup, which is actually very versatile. It can, you can actually use it as a soup itself, but today I want to introduce it with the mushi. But anyways, if you like this video, please don't forget to press like and share with your friends. Ben. Now let me share this with you. Mushrooms. I would need about 200 grams of mushroom, any type of mushrooms. Today I have portobello, shiitakes, and button mushrooms. So we have 200 grams of mushrooms here, which I'm gonna weigh. And this is the TM6, and I'm very excited. So you slide it like that, and then you have a scale there. And the scale is so precise here. So, this is the portobello mushroom. So we're gonna weigh this when it's dry, okay? We have, you can put any mushrooms you want. Ooh, okay, so that's a little bit more than 200. I'm just gonna probably cut. Yeah, how's that? So we're gonna wash this and then and then we'll do the rest. Okay, for this uh, soup, it calls for half an onion. Half an onion. And I'm gonna like just quarter this. And I'm just gonna throw this in the thermomix. And I would need two cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna do that. So I put everything in there. We're gonna chop this, okay? It's quite fine. And we're gonna chop this at speed six up to eight. It's too little to do anything actually, so you do have to use your spatula and help it. And yeah. So we're gonna, I'm gonna help this. And I'm gonna chop it again. Okay, it's too little, but it, it does work. Now, there you go. Yep, it works. So, this at this stage is already all chopped up, and I would like to saute this. This is the beauty of thermomix. You can saute, chop, you do anything in there. And um, I like to cook with ghee because it's non-burning and it has a high tolerance of um, temperature. So I really like ghee and I like the taste of it. So I'm gonna put like one teaspoon of ghee in here. And we're gonna saute this. this 
since we're gonna saute this, we're not gonna need this lid, okay? We're gonna saute this for about three minutes at high, which is aroma, and the speed about two. Okay, while waiting for that, I'm gonna clean up my mushrooms. I'm gonna clean it, wash it. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna prepare my mushrooms. Well, some of them has a lot of time I don't use the stuff, but because this is a soup, I use everything. So I'll also use the stuffs here. So for the big one, I would actually chop it in half because Thermomix has a, an amazing chopper that I don't need it. So you just look at whether you like it or not, you know, like some of them are a little bit of old and I actually don't like to use them. So you kind of like choose the mushrooms. This is a good time to use to trim while waiting for that because that's not too long. And all the button mushrooms are perfect as it is. So I'm going to use it as it is, yeah? And at Seriously Keto, I really depend on my um, Thermomix so much because of its uh, reliability of the temperature and especially when I make my jam, my, my, my berry jams, you know, I, I need have to have consistency so that it has uh, the right texture every time it comes out. It's, it never fails me. Here we go. This is all sorted up and I'm gonna put everything in there. This is the beauty of this, okay? I'm gonna put all this in there and I'm gonna have to chop it up again. Alright, I'm gonna chop this. Don't forget your lid. It's a mushroom so you don't have to go too, too harsh on chopping this. Six. It's good enough. See, it's all done. That takes about eight seconds. As you can see, it's all done. Let's clean this up. So it depends on you again, how how do you like your texture of your soup? You can have it like, my husband actually like it that he can chew a little bit on the texture of the soup, but my daughter likes it like really soupy. So today I'm gonna make it really the soft one, the way my daughter likes it. Because I think it complements the, um, the, the chawan mushi better when it's really nice and soft like that so I'm gonna blend this one more time maybe at a higher speed okay. there you go so now we have a softer texture here we're gonna do another blanc at the end of this, okay? This spatula is really good too. It, it has this hook to pick up the, the, the basket inside there and everything. So now this is ready and I'm gonna put whatever is needed to make the soup. So I need the bouillon, I'm gonna put it in there. And I would need like half a cup of cream, which is about 120 grams. If you don't have a measuring cup, here we go. We have the scale. So half a cup of this is about 120 grams. So I'm gonna actually use this today. Be careful with liquid. It can actually shock you when you pour. So pour slowly. Hundred and twenty. Uh, there you 
kick up. Right? And then we need we need um, half a cup of water to make it into soup. And this is where I put in my pepper. And a quarter teaspoon. And if you don't, like I said, you can actually put fresh chili in there or you can actually put ground chili. That's already bubble in your custard it tastes very rough it's not very smooth so this is perfect yeah I do not need this part I'm just gonna cover this and I'm gonna set this for about 10 minutes because that's that's the about about 8 to 12 minutes depending on how much of uh, a custard you're making so I think 10 would be good today but do take a look, okay? You have to judge yourself too, not to just... And we're gonna set this, uh, the heat at our aroma and we're gonna just do this for about speed too. And we can now wait and you can clean up or put the book. So while we're waiting for this, let me talk a little bit about the keto lifestyle that I am doing personally. I've been on keto for about three and a half years now and I felt a whole lot of benefits to being on this lifestyle. I've chosen not to eat um, carbs and sugar, so basically I'm anti-sugar. And um, the benefits is I always have like full of energy. I have a very um, clear mind. And um, at my age at the moment, my doctor said that I am totally healthy, which is actually a good sign, right? So doing keto is not as hard as people think. It's actually eating all the yummiest food ever. Just no carbs. And we substitute that. I always tell my friends or my family that's doing it that we shouldn't eliminate from our, you know, whatever our cravings, don't eliminate it, but just substitute it. For instance, if you are craving for bread, then you have to look for something that tastes, that has a munch of a bread, but you know, substitute it into like a keto bun, for instance. And if you're craving noodles, there's a lot of uh, shirataki noodles out there, so we substitute. And as for sugar, we actually use erythritol, which has a very uh, similar taste and has no aftertaste. That's also substituting. And for food, it's so easy to go by. Like the food that I'm showing you here, it's totally keto. Eggs is our friend. It's and then the foie gras that we, we use is also the fat that we want to use and the ghee and all the fat that we use is a wholesome fat it's not it's not um, those vegetables oils you know those that will hurt us and also for the protein as for the protein you know go as go as much whole, wholesome as you could don't do processed food at all and you're actually going to be living a healthier, more peaceful, happier life. And we only have 30 seconds to go and I'm very excited. Let me get some paper towels because this is going to drip and it's going to be quite dangerous so we have to flip it very quickly and I can't wait for this custard to be done. So 
count down. Three, two, one. What do you call that? <laughs> it's lowering its temperature. This thing is really smart. It doesn't want to burn you, so it lowers its temperature by itself. Okay, here it goes. We flip it quickly. Ah. So, to know whether your custard is set or not, you use a spoon, you go like that. See, it's, you can actually feel it that it's actually already set. So this is set, and then we're gonna just pull out every one of them. Okay, be careful, this is really hot, okay? So you can see some oil of the duck liver here, but it's fine, okay? And let's go see our soup. It's all cooked. Like I said, um, we need to whirl this one more time because we want it to be more soupy than it's grainy. So let's clean this up. So, put all the water and everything in there. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a fast one of this, okay? Don't forget to use this because it's gonna splatter all over you. Okay, this you're gonna do fast, okay? An eight, a nine. ready to serve. Let me pick it up from up here. Yeah. And with a ladle. Put this on top of this. use some of this to actually just do decoration. Hmm. Okay. Let's find a pretty one to decorate, okay? Always want your food to look as pretty as it tastes good too. So your eyes are very important as well as your nose as well as your taste bud. So we are here we are, we are done. And it's ready to be served. And I would like to serve this hot. And um, you would actually get it with a croutons or a crisp. And at seriously keto, we prepare some um, keto bun crisps. This this whole pack is only three grams of carbs, which is eat it as you wish. <laughs> so here it goes. There you go. That's one way to serve this, and you can always. Like I said, you could always use a um, white truffle oil on this and you can make a foam. And uh, I have my Mushroom mushi is a combination of chaman mushi and a mushroom soup. 
with its condiments and this is easy to make like you, like you have seen and so if you really like it please press like and share it with your friends and um, at Seriously Keto we actually have the bouillon that I was using and I also have a mushroom pate here that I actually prepared that you could actually just easily whip up in your Thermomix and add water and cream and it's all ready and steam it up all together and yes Thermomix is my go-to machine to work in the kitchen and I wish really I would have had this machine when I have my little kids when they, when I was feeding them I wish I had had them it would have cut down so many hours in the kitchen and be with them because in pre preparation of the baby food I would have loved to use Thermomix and I encourage young mothers or gifts to your young parents yes aunties uncles please buy for your nieces that have babies okay <laughs> and so yeah this is uh, all for today hope you enjoy the show and thank you bye bye